Here is your question. You've joined national beauty pageants and a reality show before. How would you say this super box experience differs compares to the other other competitions you have joined? The super bots competition differs in such an amazing and unforgettable journey from this. When I first started, I knew nothing about fitness. I gave up easily and I had no motivation. But because of this platform, it gave me a reason to challenge myself and to make me a better version of myself. So I'm forever grateful for Century Tuna for bringing out the best me and the super boss behind me. Thank you very much, and thank you, Jessica. All right, we'll be seeing you just a bit. Thank you. Showcasing her best yourself ever, best you ever. Okay, this time, let's call in Super Bod Imelda Schulenhart. Good evening, Imelda, nice to see you again. And uh, right now, she has chosen. Oh, back to back, another queen. Pia words back. Okay, here's your question. What is your message to your fellow solo parents who are struggling to raise a child or their children on their own? Um, first of all, hello everyone. I'm a solo parent myself. I got pregnant at 21 and I realized that life is hard until, you know, you discover the way out. Um, you never know until it happens to you, and I have so much message to tell them. I want to give back by sharing, of course, Century Tuna, canned goods, um, rice to them. At the same time, I'll teach them fitness because it's important. Our mental health, fitness helps. So for me, if you take care of your body, the mind follows. And right now, I'm so nervous, but I have so much to say. I cannot put it in one sentence. Thank you so much. Thank you, Imelda. Big shout out to all the super moms out there, all my solo parents watching. Great job. Thank you. Okay, this time we'll be asking super mom Justine Felizanda. Lots of fans in this side. Good evening, Justine. Okay, and she has chosen. <laughs> the queen once again is Pia Horsback. I think that goal is filled with your name. Your favorite tonight. Hi, Justine. Hi, good evening, Pia. Good evening, everyone. All right. How do you think winning Super Buds? would differ from your previous experience as a beauty queen title holder. Winning Super Bods is more than just a title for me. When I turned 30 this year, I really vowed to myself that I want to thrive in more areas. And even if it is hard and have obstacles along the way, I want to make sure that I am living my best you ever, which is why I joined Century Tuna Super Bods competition. And in this competition, I hope to inspire more people to go out of their comfort zone. And it's never too late to chase for your dreams, no matter how big it is. And you can inspire other people with your own story by taking one step at a time and helping them become their best you ever. Thank you. Thank you. He is smiling for your answer. Thank you so much, Christine. All right, this time I'm going to call in Superbot Morena Carlos. Just in case, Pia, you better get ready with your question. Okay? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Morena. Morena has chosen from a queen to a king, Mr. Richard Gomez. Hi, Morena. How has your professional life changed since becoming a Superbot finalist? 
pinagong po niyo pagiging professional ka. I'm a professional boss, actually not that professional like you. Okay. Pero ngayon po, I am a isang host po ngayon. Tapos binago po nito ang aking buhay dahil mas natutunan po po kung paano makisama at humarap sa mas maraming tao. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Malakas sa Pilipinas. Maraming salamat, Coretta. Para ko ba ang kuna ng trabaho dito? <laughs> Hindi pa ako bayad sa kasal. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Thank you for the questions, Richard. Right now, let's have Superbot Inka Magnayo. Thank you, Inka. She was shocked because she has chosen. Oh, Mr. Greg Ranzon. Good evening, uh, Hi, sir. Good evening. Are you feeling nervous? This is a completely different arena for me, being a voiceover talent. I always work behind the scenes, so yes, quite, but excited. Here's my question. Right, uh, being a popular content creator and voiceover artist, how do you use your platform to spread awareness on specific interests and issues? The way I use my platform has been exactly the same way I've used it since I started. And I aim to always take it from a core of authenticity. This is because anytime you are anything else but authentic, people can always tell. In the same way that the mic can pick up when you're nervous, when you post something, they can tell when something is a little bit off. And so I always promised myself to use my platform in a way that is authentic to me. And so I use it to raise awareness for animal shelters. As you can see, I love animals. I also use it to raise awareness on things that affect me, such as mental health disorders and scoliosis and other such things. And I do it by way of example. Thank you very much. Thank you. I thought I was listening to a podcast. Thank you, Inka. We'll be seeing you later. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome Superbod, Julia Sukha for no one. She has chosen. You're ready for this? Yes, I am. A prime time and blockbuster queen, Miss Marian Rivera Tantes. Hi. Hi, Hi Miss Marian. I'm a fan. Oh. <laughs> Here's my question for you. Yung husband mo ay isa sa mga finalist din ng Super Bowl this year. Pwede mo bang i-share yung mga positive effects and changes na nangyayari sa inyo, especially in your relationship, nung nag-join kayo dito? I would say joining here with my husband as finalist is such a huge blessing. It's not every day that you actually get to join the pageant. Together with your husband, the love of your life, I've been able to get constant support from him and he is actually my inspiration. So to have my inspiration here in this big event, this huge opportunity to share to the world about my story, my transformation as a mental health advocate, as a mom to a one-year-old, I'm so happy that I was able to join my husband and have my husband here in this competition. Together, I, as someone, as an individual, I would say that I am strong, but together, I would say that we're stronger together. Thank you. Thank you. Super mom. Okay, thank you so much for, for hitting that rewind button thank you. and giving us a preview of what happened in that journey. Thank you, Julia. This time, let's have Superbot Brooke Barreto. Good evening, Brooke. Brooke has chosen our favorite doctor, Dr. Agamula. Sir Aga. Hi, Brooke. 
Kung graduate ka ng marketing degree, bakit mo ginusto i-presume ang modeling after mong natapos? I'm sorry, Mo. Can you repeat the question in English? Okay, you graduated with a degree in marketing. So why do you want a career in modeling after graduating college? Yeah, so I've always had a dream of modeling since I was a very, very young girl. And actually, since I moved here, I realized that my family on my dad's side are actually in the industry. And I really felt a sense of home since I came here. And I actually have been, uh, I actually have success. I actually have succeeded a lot here. And I really wanted to take that jump. Because I grew up really shy and sheltered, I wanted to go out of my comfort zone and live alone and try out my dream. And I also got a job last week as a marketer, so I'm really excited about that as well. And I want to inspire other people to live their dreams just like me. Just like this moment right now. Thank you, Ruth. You're stepping forward, being great, joining this great competition. And last but not least, of course, let's call in Superbond, K. Trajano. Oh, okay. For luck. Thank you so much, Kay. Let's see. Okay, you have chosen. Again, Mr. Agamula. Oh, yes, that is you. <laughs> Sir Aga? Yes, hi, Kay. Hi, Sir. Good evening, and good evening to everyone. Magandang magandang gabi sa iyo. So you joined the Superbots competition back in 2020 and also reached the finals. Thank so what made you want to join again and what are you bringing to this year's competition that you did have in 2020? Well, I think everybody could relate to this, but 2020 was a really hard time for everyone. We were in a pandemic and we were experiencing being constricted. And this time, I want to come back because I want to advocate for authenticity. As I have said during this competition, I came out as the first ever trans woman to be even competing in the Philippines. <laughs> and that is something I'm proud of because we experienced so much rejections all my life. And everyone, even allies and LGBT people, have been told no. But this time, it's time to say yes. Yes to claiming our power and yes to century superbots that we can all be fit and we can also fit in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>